If you come to Taiwan, you will probably notice that there's probably a 7-Eleven or Family Mart or some kind of convenience store on almost every block. Stay a little longer and you're going to be attracted to the night markets and maybe even the KTVs. Give it a day or two. You're going to start to notice there's a lot of temples around here. And it's a little odd. These temples can range from household shrines to enormous complexes and they coexist in this modern society and we normally think that modern technology and science are a sign that religion is going to fade away and give way to complete secularism and, and uh, atheism and that's not necessarily the case here in fact anywhere from 80 to 97 percent of Taiwanese are involved in the folk religion and this folk religion can also involve aspects of Taoism and Buddhism see faith here can be very syncretic and it's practical Someone can pay respects to their city's god, then pray to Confucius for good luck on exams, give thanks to Mazu, and then attend a Buddhist ceremony. It's, it's all A-OK. -okay. Buddhism and Taoism both claim roughly 30 to 35% of the population, but that is actually shared with adherence to the folk religion. And uh, there are salvation movements uh, based on often based on uh, Chinese religion as well. And there are far fewer Christians, uh, there are Muslims and Jews, though those are even fewer, and then there's indigenous forms of worship as well. But what is this folk religion? In the West, it can be sometimes called Shenism. Shen uh, means God, spirit, uh, expressions. And they can range from nature spirits to city or town gods, historical heroes, actual people, to guardian deities, and from demigods to your very own ancestors. There's actually elements of animism, shamanism, and polytheism all mixed into this. You don't need to convert to participate, and you can adhere to other religions at the same time if you'd like, although oftentimes those other religions do have uh, exclusionary stances towards other faiths. It's hard to define what exactly it is, but it's deeply embedded in the culture. Taiwanese people uh, seek out the folk religion as a way to pray, to wish for things, to be exorcised, to commune with the metaphysical, to feel a sense of comfort or catharsis during hard times. And maybe above all, the temples give people a place to belong. In fact, that's part of, part of how they even got started here. In the late 1600s, Fujianese colonists brought their religion to this island. Now, most of these migrants were single young men, and they are now far from home, their ancestral shrines, their families, and far from effective rule of law. The frontier was a violent place. And so the settlers, in the absence of large clan networks, they formed their own fraternal brotherhoods for protection, and these centered around the temples. The places of worship housed gods that were practical to these frontiersmen. The sea goddess Mazu ensured their safe crossing to Taiwan. She's actually still incredibly popular, uh, can be considered the patron goddess of Taiwan. Gods of the land or town protected them from enemies. Other gods were, and still are, appeased in order to stave off famine, disease, and bad luck. Occasionally, even indigenous gods were adopted. After all, these men usually married indigenous women or they themselves were products of interracial marriage so not only was the temple uh, established as a place of worship but it also uh, served other purposes it attracted vendors and so marketplaces sprung up uh, it's where education uh, was was thought out of it's where the village uh, militias uh, arsenal was so martial arts was taught there when, uh, when men in the village went to war, they carried the gods with them. You know, and, and it seems almost tribal, but that's that's exactly what this was like. Uh, village leaders would convene at temples. That's where they would decide upon the welfare and the future of their communities. That's where they would rally people and give speeches. And so, it's understandable, with the temple being the intersection of religion, politics, security, and commerce that by the end of the Qing Dynasty, at least on Taiwan, the temple, not the government, was the true focus of local power. 
today these temples are everywhere everyone goes to them um everyone from doctors to, to gangsters pray at them you'll see politicians showing up there they're so popular that even the chinese communist party has been trying to infiltrate them uh, in addition to the the media here in taiwan and collaborating with the kmt or the nationalist party in order to weaken taiwanese independence uh, it's it's such a such an important part of daily life but why like like we said in the beginning modernization science technology they tend to forecast a huge shift towards atheism why does taiwan seem to be bucking this trend well there's a few reasons uh, i think it's culturally entrenched there isn't one governing doctrine and it's flexible in a very pragmatic way this isn't like a church these days where you feel guilt guilted into it and where you gotta tack it on to your weekend and it takes up your time in that sense uh, it's not something that's meant to fundamentally interrupt your life in an inconvenient way you aren't really initiated like a baptism uh, yes there's rites and rituals but there's no central authority telling you to do X Y and Z or you're going to hell and it's not some state mandated religion that's being forced upon you sort of like Japanese Buddhism during the Japanese imperial days here you know, if you grew up Taiwanese it's all around you it's part of who what and where you are and if you tap into it there's a whole there's a whole slew of communities for you to belong to but that's a personal choice you put in as much or as little as you want there are all kinds of gods and spirits for you to align with that you can vibe with that you can pray to it can be very personalized so since the metaphysical is worshipped in a way that stays relevant and practical to the people taiwan remains a land of many temples <laughs>